This grave site at Mount Calvary Cemetery marks the final resting place of 28-year-old Peter Artzer and his 27-year-old wife, Maria. They died of influenza in Topeka about an hour apart on October 18, 1918, seven years and one day after they'd been married at St. Joseph's Catholic Church. The Artzer's last name was misspelled in an article in the Topeka Daily Capital, which covered their deaths on page one because they died during a flu epidemic that orphaned their four children, ranging in age from eight months to six years. This is Tim Wrencher, the history guy for CJ Online, talking about that flu epidemic, which first gained attention a hundred years ago this month at Fort Riley. The outbreak appears to have begun in early 1918 at Southwest Kansas's Haskell County, from which several young men then went to Army training at Fort Riley's Camp Funston, shown here. The first case of a volatile form of influenza was reported at that camp on March 4, 1918, and within three weeks, more than 1,100 soldiers had shown similar symptoms, according to the Kansas State Historical Society, which provided this photo. The outbreak appeared to subside, and many Fort Riley soldiers were sent to Europe to fight in World War I. But there, the disease mutated, spread, and began to kill in large numbers, with no drugs or vaccines being capable of stopping it. While influenza had historically preyed on the old, the young, and the weak, this virus was unique in that it killed many otherwise healthy young adults. The disease became known as the Spanish flu. History.com says the epidemic became the deadliest in history, infecting one-third of the world's population while killing 20 million to 50 million people, including 675,000 Americans. More U.S. soldiers died from the flu than were killed in battle. Communities took precautions by imposing quarantines, encouraging people to wear masks, and closing public places, including churches, schools, and theaters. By the summer of 1919, the epidemic had ended, as those who were infected either died or developed immunity. And what became of the orphaned children of Topekans Peter and Maria Artzer? All four survived the epidemic and lived at least 84 years. This is Tim Wrencher, the History Guy for CJ Online.